Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back and welcome to another edition, part nine of LeBron James fans say weird things. That's right, y'all. We're all important. Part nine. Part nine. I never thought when I started this series that it would have went this long. But the more videos I do exposing LeBron James, right, in his era, Right, the more videos I do comparing Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and showing you guys that it's not really a debate, it's not close. Right, the more comments I get from the Le LeBron James fan club. Right, more emotional statements. Nothing that has ever anything to do with my videos. They can never debunk anything in my videos. They can never call me out for anything I said in my videos. They can't do it. So they resort to the personal attacks, right, the emotional responses, just nonsensical weird things that these people do. This is LeBron James fan club. This is his fan club. This is what these people do, man. They're all about it. So I want to thank you guys, man. Everybody out there, everybody across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. It means a lot to me, guys. I am truly, truly humbled. It really means a lot, man. Shout out to all my members, all the members of the Sports and Fitness Ranch Club, Matthew Butcher, James Williams, Ken S. Much respect to all you guys, man. I am truly humbled by the support. It means a lot, man. Much respect to all you guys out there, man, for your comments, for your, your likes, for subscribing, everything, guys. Thank you. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, here we are. We're on part nine right now. Part nine, guys. And, man, the comments just keep coming, the weird things, the emotional responses, right? I'm, I've been continuing to challenge the LeBron fan club to make videos, tag me in the videos, call me out, right? For anything that I've said in my videos that you guys label as hate, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. That's a cap, right? All this stuff. I'm waiting for you guys to make these videos. Tag me in the video so I know you did it. Tag me in the video so I know you mean it. Don't hide behind the comments, y'all. Comments ain't doing nothing. You guys are getting exposed here. Make a video. Put yourself on camera and explain to us. Show us you got the knowledge. Because I guarantee you guys can't do what I do. You can't do what I do. You cannot sit on camera and talk for 20, 25 minutes straight without stuttering, without cursing, without editing, without writing this stuff down. I do this off the top of my head. Whatever the topic is, I just go off about it. Because I got the knowledge, man. I grew up watching this stuff. And that's what it's always been about. Stopping the lies. Stopping the narratives. Stopping it from rewriting the history. Putting some respect on Michael Jordan in the 80s and the 90s, guys. And without further ado, let's get to the first comment from the LeBron fan club. Forgive me, guys. I got to look away. I want to make sure I read these things correctly. So here's what the first comment says. A lot of energy for a regular season game. That was the comment, guys. A lot of energy for a regular season game, right? And that was a comment left on my uh, LeBron James does it again video, right? I was talking about LeBron James, right? Turned the ball over at the end of the game against the Dallas Mavericks, right? When he had Kyrie Irving, he could have posted him up, went to the hole, but instead he tried to force a pass to Anthony Davis and it turned the ball over, right? Right, he did it again, right? That was a couple games after the Miami Heat debacle. So this person says a lot of energy for a regular season game. That's pretty funny. That you say that because all I see from the LeBron James fan club, from the La Media, is a lot of energy for regular season nonsense. Regular season stats for celebrating, right? A lot of energy for those things. LeBron James had a lot of energy last year when he didn't get that call against the Boston Celtics. He was flopping all over the court, right? And he didn't even lose the game. The game went to overtime. But LeBron James had a lot of energy for that regular season game. A lot of energy for that when he getting a call. Crying and moaning and flopping around. Did you say that about that? But I got a lot of energy for a regular season game, right? Once again, LeBron James fan club, they get exposed to these comments. Not disputing anything in my video because once again, it's all about the facts on this channel and he can't dispute the facts. They can't. So he just gets upset that I'm holding LeBron James to a stand and I'm exposing him. Why y'all mad? A lot of energy, man. A lot of energy. A lot of energy for meaningless stats for LeBron James' entire career, right? A lot of energy for LeBron James making it to the finals, but no one got energy for his losses. Y'all ain't got no energy for that to talk about the losses? No, no one got any energy for that, right? Y'all got a lot of energy to celebrate LeBron James' 10-point record, right? Talked about it in the beginning of the season. I did a video on that, that fake 10-point streak he got going on, right? A lot of energy for that streak. A lot of energy for that. 
This is LeBron James. Y'all got a lot of energy for regular season stats, but in the postseason, y'all don't want to talk about the postseason. Y'all never want to talk about all the loss in the postseason, all the flopping, right? None of that stuff. Y'all don't want to talk about these things. But I got a lot of energy because I exposed LeBron James and I called him out. We're holding him to a standard. Don't be upset, guys. Don't be upset. Let's go to the next comment here. Pippen was better defensive player because he was more versatile than Jordan. Yes, Pippen was the best all-around player in 1994. He was saying that Pippen was the best all-around player in the NBA in 1994. And this was on my Jordan won six titles despite Scottie Pippen video. Right where I talked about many times where Scottie Pippen did not show for Michael Jordan. Right, especially early in those early years. Scottie Pippen was always folding up under pressure. Right, never show enough for Michael Jordan. So I said Michael Jordan won six times despite Scottie Pippen's, right? What? His inconsistencies, right? Scottie Pippen was always inconsistent. It speaks for itself in the video. It's all facts. So once again, they can't dispute anything in the video. So they resort to Pippen was a better defensive player because he was more versatile than Michael Jordan? What? If you want to say Scottie Pippen was more versatile because he could guard maybe one through three, if you want to say that, Okay, versatility, though, has nothing to do with your greatness on defense. Nothing to do with it. Michael Jordan could guard shooting guards better than Scottie Pippen could. Michael Jordan could lock his man down better than Scottie Pippen could. Michael Jordan is a better defensive player. Once again, the LeBron James fan club exposes himself with another narrative. This is a new narrative that Scottie Pippen was a better defensive player than Michael Jordan. That was not the narrative when I was young growing up. Everybody understood that Michael Jordan was a better defensive player than Scottie Pippen. He was more consistent on the defensive end. He had better instincts than Scottie Pippen on the defensive end, which goes to Michael Jordan's, right, ability to get steals at a higher rate than Scottie Pippen, to block the shots at a higher rate than Scottie Pippen. That was Michael Jordan, guys, right? Being an inch or two shorter than Scottie Pippen was still able to block shots at a higher rate and get more steals at a higher rate. Michael Jordan was a better on-ball defender, a better help defensive player. That's just a fact, guys. Once again, just don't take away from Scottie Pippen. He's an all-time great. I've said many times, Scottie Pippen is a top 10 all-time defensive player, but so is Michael Jordan, guys. And Michael Jordan is above Scottie Pippen. If you told me that Michael Jordan was like number six or number seven, then Scottie Pippen would be by like number nine or number 10. That's what I'm saying, guys. And that's the facts. Scottie Pippen was never the better defensive player. Don't tell me to me about versatility. What's versatility? It's another way for them to try to make an excuse as to Michael Jordan being the better defensive player. They use that word versatile. Michael Jordan guards his position better than Scottie Pippen guards his position. Michael Jordan was a better team defensive player than Scottie Pippen. Better instincts than Scottie Pippen. He was stronger than Scottie Pippen. He was quicker than Scottie Pippen. He was faster than Scottie Pippen. He had better side-to-side -side movement than Scottie Pippen. I mean, my goodness. Who thinks Scottie Pippen's a better defensive player than Michael Jordan? Only the LeBron James fan club, right? Because they must continue to diminish Michael Jordan by trying to elevate Scottie Pippen to another realm. And what does he say here? Yes, Scottie Pippen was the best all-around player in 1994. Once again, I've said this many, many times. Scottie Pippen was never the best all-around player in the NBA. He never was. Never was. They'll say Michael Jordan retired. Scottie Pippen was the best all-around player. So you're telling me Scottie Pippen was a better all-around player than Hakeem Olajuwon? Really? You're telling me he was a better all-around player than David Robinson? Carl Malone? Charles Barkley, he's a better all-around player than these guys. All those guys I mentioned are much superior scorers than Scottie Pippen. Much superior scorers than Scottie Pippen. It's not even close. It's not even a conversation with Carl Malone or Charles Barkley, Hakeem, David Robinson scored 70 points in the game. Scottie Pippen's career high is like, what, 42? So we know he can't score at those guys. So that's one aspect. Rebounding, Scottie Pippen's not a better rebound than any of those guys that I mentioned. Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson. No. That's another aspect of the game. He's not better than them at. Playmaking. Is he a better playmaker than a lot of those guys? Yeah. You could probably say he's a better playmaker than Charles Barkley or Carl Malone or Hakeem or David Robinson. Okay, we'll give the edge to Scottie Pippen. That's one aspect. Now, the defensive end, where people think that Scottie Pippen is so elite, which he is, is Scottie Pippen a better defensive player than Hakeem Olajuwon, guys? No, he's not. He is not. Is he a better defensive player than David Robinson? I don't know about that, guys. That's a conversation. Yeah, we can say he's better than Charles Barkley. Absolutely. We can say he's better than Carl Malone. But even Carl Malone was a very solid defensive player. He wasn't better than Hakeem and Dave Robinson, though, in my opinion, guys. I think Hakeem and Dave Robinson are also top 10 all-time defensive players. But just the all-around game, 
He was not better than Hakeem Olajuwon or David Robinson or Carl Malone or Charles Barkley. These are four guys at the top of my head, guys. He wasn't better than them. He was not. So Scott Pippen was never the best all-around player in the NBA. He was never that guy, man. And, and prior to that, Michael Jordan was always a more superior all-around player than Scottie Pippen. I mean, my goodness, guys, Scottie Pippen didn't have handle like Michael Jordan. He didn't have a playmaking ability of Michael Jordan. He did not, guys. Scottie Pippen was a playmaker in the triangle. Yes, he was a solid point forward. He was Scottie Pippen. He had some all-around skills. But to say he was the best all-around player in the NBA, once again, they're trying to lift Scottie Pippen to diminish Michael Jordan, to diminish Michael Jordan's error. He wasn't close to Akeem Olajuwon all around, man. Stop it. Just stop. Just stop. Didn't Akeem Olajuwon win Defensive Player of the Year, MVP, Finals MVP, all in the same season? When did Scottie Pippen ever do that? When did Scottie Pippen ever lead the league in anything? Right, just steals, I believe. Right, one time? Did he ever lead the league in scoring? David Robinson led the league in scoring, rebounding, and blocked shots. He's one of the only guys to ever do that. Hakeem never did that. Shaq never did that. But Dave Robinson did that. With a career high of 70 points. Dave Robinson was a much better all-around player than Scottie Pippen, guys. So once again, you get exposed. You guys are idiots. You didn't even say anything about my video. You just said some nonsense, some emotions. Let's go to the next one now. LeBron is on another level from anyone that ever plays. That's why you're judging him differently. This one to me is hilarious because to me, this, oh, and that was on the LeBron thinks he's bigger than the game video, right? Once again, speaks for itself. This man did not debunk anything. And he has a nerve to say that we're holding LeBron James to a, we're judging him differently. No, that's always been the problem. They're not judging LeBron James the right way, accordingly. LeBron's an all-time great. Guys, we can all agree on that, right? He's an all-time great. So why are we not judging him to hold him to that standard? That's the problem. They never do that on the mainstream media. They never hold them accountable. What we do, what the real NBA fans do, what I do on this channel, is I judge LeBron James as an all-time great against the other all-time greats. I'm holding him accountable to that standard. That's exactly what we're doing here. The problem is the mainstream media and the LeBron James fan club, they never judge him the way he's supposed to be judged. They try to judge him like he's not an all-time great. They'll try to judge him as if he's never done anything wrong. All his losses don't matter, right? They've lowered the bar for LeBron James. They never lowered the bar for Michael Jordan and these other all-time greats. But for LeBron James, they must judge him differently. That's the problem here. That's why we're making these videos. So this person, once again, you're an idiot. You don't know what you're talking about, and you did not debunk anything in my video. You're telling me that LeBron is on another level? What level? The level of flopping? Yeah, he's a certified flopper at the highest level. You're right about that. What level are we talking about here? Yeah, LeBron's an all-time great. LeBron James is also a load manager. He's also a team hopper, right? He's a super team guy. So he's not on another level. You know who's on another level? Michael Jordan's on another level. He's not close to LeBron James. LeBron James is far, far away from Michael Jordan. He's not anywhere in the same strategy as Michael Jordan. And that's what we've been trying to get you guys to understand. Right? The more you watch the video, the more you look at the numbers. Everything all together. You can clearly see LeBron James ain't close to Michael Jordan. Jordan is on the level. LeBron James is not on his level. And we're judging LeBron James accordingly. That's what we're doing. You guys want to do the same thing, right? He told us to keep that same energy. We're keeping the energy. Y'all are not. Because you guys are being fake. You guys are once again just LeBron James fans. You're not fans of basketball. So you never hold him to a standard. You never call him out. He can do no wrong. No wrong. Exposed. Let's go to the next one now. <clears throat> now, this I wrote this down the way that the person typed it out, the comment, on purpose, so you guys can see the, what we deal with here. Because this is not even, I can't even understand this. Is you going to talking about somebody else because this is getting weird? Now, listen, I don't knock people for spelling and grammar, things of that nature. You know, maybe you're not, you know, English is not your first language. I get all of that. But come on, man, damn. Can, what was that? Doesn't even make any sense. And that was left on the uh, LeBron is so great. Why is he need so many excuses video? Is you going to talking about somebody else because this is getting weird? No, you know what's getting weird? The LeBron fan club. Y'all are getting weird, man. You guys are invading my comments with 30, 40, 50, 100 comments. 
multiple comments on a single video. Just multiple comments. It's like, oh, I left one comment. I didn't respond to you. So you felt the need to leave another one, hoping I would respond to that one. Oh, he didn't respond to my first two. Let me leave a third one. This is what LeBron James fan club does. This is how you know it's all emotion. And they never talking about anything in my videos. Never. You guys can never dispute anything in my videos. You make it about nonsense. Am I going to talk about somebody else? I've talked about Michael Jordan all the time on this channel. I have more videos on Michael Jordan on this channel than LeBron James, guys. Do your homework and count them. I got more views on Scottie Pippen than LeBron James. I've done videos on Isaiah Thomas, Stephen A. Smith, all these clowns in the media. I've done videos on Mark Jackson, Kevin Johnson, Jason Kidd. I've done a bunch of videos. I've only been on here for almost two years, man. You guys are stressing me out about some LeBron James videos? You're weird. I'm not weird. What I'm doing is I'm setting a record straight. I won't allow this stuff to stand any longer. I won't allow these lies, the narratives, the bending of reality. That's weird. All these people in the media, Nick Wright, Shannon Sharp, Gilbert Arenas, J.J. Reddick, Kendrick, all these clowns, man. They're lying about Michael Jordan. Why do they have to lie about Michael Jordan? That is weird. That's weird. That should make you guys scratch your head and say, why do they always got to lie? Why do they always got to talk about Michael Jordan? They're always talking about Michael Jordan. I've told you guys. When they stop lying about Michael Jordan, his era in the past eras, stop trying to tear these guys down, I will stop making videos. So to this person, go contact ESPN or Fox Sports, all these guys, and tell them to stop talking about Michael Jordan, talk about somebody else. And we'll stop making videos. All right, I'll make a deal with you on that. All right? Goodness gracious. Oh, this is a great one right here. This comment came on a thread, right? So someone left a comment. One of my members uh, left a donation, right? A super thanks on one of my videos. And this person said, waste of money. That's what they wrote. It was a waste of money for this person to donate to my channel monetarily. They actually wrote in the comment in response to this person for the super thanks. Waste of money. This is from that same uh, channel I told you about, guys. The uh, Jordan is 0-6. That's the name of the channel. Jordan is 0-6. What does that sound to you guys? That sounds like a super duper LeBron James fan club member. Right? You can't even have a truthful YouTube channel handle. When is Jordan 0-6? See the emotion of these people, man? The nonsense that we deal with? Waste of money. <clears throat> I've told you guys, and this person obviously doesn't get this. I'm not here for money. I do not solicit you guys for money. I do not ask for donations. Anytime that people have donated to my channel monetarily is because they felt the need because something resonated with them and they appreciated something that I did, maybe a video that I was something that I said in a video, whatever the case may be. They felt compelled to join to my channel. I've never begged or asked people for money. So once again, it's not a waste of money because the information that I put out in these videos is all accurate. It's all facts, man. I'm giving you guys the perspective from someone who grew up in the 90s and what they witnessed, what I watched. I watched this stuff, guys. You can tell. You guys have told me that. You can tell I grew up watching this stuff by the way that I speak in the videos. I don't write none of this stuff down. This is off the head of what I remember. It's not a waste of money, man. You know what's a waste of money? You buying a LeBron James jersey. That's a waste of money. You know what's a waste of money? You buying LeBron James sneakers. That's a waste of money. You know what's a waste of money? All the people that show up to a Los Angeles Lakers game over the years, right? And LeBron James is out there load managing, not playing. That was a waste of money for those families. Like I told you about that father who called out LeBron James in the tunnel because he was load managing and he didn't play. And the father took his son there for the first time to see LeBron James and he was load managing. That was a waste of money for that family. That's a waste of money. So once again, you're an idiot. Michael Jordan is 0-6. You wish he was 0-6. You really wish that. Let's go to the next one. All right, here we go. Man, you're a hater. I think you want LBJ life player. Stop the hate player. Stop it. The man called me. Uh, he used the word hate twice in his comment, and he said that I want LeBron James' life. That was on Nobody Wants to Be Like LeBron James video, which is a very popular video. You know why? Because no one wants to be like LeBron James. I spit straight facts in that video, and you guys understood that. I didn't lie about LeBron James in that video. No one wants to be like LeBron James. They don't. He's not that popular. Only the LeBron James fan club wants to be like LeBron James, because once again, what do they go to in his comment? He says, I want his life. Why would I want LeBron James' life? Because he's a billionaire? Money does nothing for me. I've told you guys this. Money doesn't motivate me. It does not. It does nothing for me in my life. Yeah, money's great, man, right? 
But money is not important to me. It does not motivate me. I'm not motivated by money. Not at all. You guys know how I feel about this stuff, guys. So I wouldn't want to be LeBron James. LeBron James is begging for respect. I never had to beg anybody for respect. You know why? Because I carry myself with honor. I carry myself with integrity. I carry myself with respect. So I'm respected because I act in a respectable manner. LeBron James ain't that guy. Why do I want to be him? To have people clowning me all day, mocking me, no one respecting me. I got to have my wife come on stage and call me the GOAT. Really? I want to be that guy? Come on, man. I would never want to be LeBron James, man. And for this person to say that, it speaks to his fan club. They want to be LeBron James. I don't want to be anybody else but myself. I'm very happy with my life. For some reason, I've told you guys, the LeBron James fan club, they're not satisfied with their lives. So they make everything about fame and money, right? They praise LeBron James for being rich. Really? Who cares? That don't make him a good person. It does not. A lot of these young kids, they're caught up in the fame, right? The social media nonsense. I didn't grow up in this era. That stuff don't mean nothing to me, right? I judge you based off your character, not your status, not your money. And I would never want to be LeBron James. Never. Let's go to the last one here. I know it's going kind of long, guys. Sorry. Getting a little dark, too. This is a good one, too. Bro, you act like MJ paying you. Relax. That's the comment. That was on the LeBron James Don't Love the Game video. Another great video I thought was good, guys. Right? All facts. Once again, they can't dispute anything in my videos. What was this? One, two, three, four, five, seven comments. No one disputed a single fact in my video. No one brought facts in their comments. None of that stuff. None of it. This is what we deal with here. And this is why these people are weird. Call me out. Say something in the comments that have facts that have to do with my video. Bro, you act like MJ Payne, you relax. Once again, I did a video months ago, a long time ago. And the title of the video is called, Michael Jordan Don't Owe Me a Damn Thing. And in the video, I talked about Michael Jordan don't owe me a damn thing. I'm not doing this for Michael Jordan. I'm doing this to set the record straight. It's about the era. It's about the NBA game. It's about the NBA. It's about basketball, right? Because if they're going to continue to tear down Michael Jordan, Right? By tearing down his era, that's not, that's not just about Michael Jordan. That's about all the guys I grew up watching. They've been tearing all these guys down. Even guys in past eras before me, the 60s, right? The 70s, they'll tear these guys down all the time. So it's about the respect. It's about the integrity that's not, it's not being shown around in the mainstream media as it pertains to these guys and the way they talk about these guys. It has nothing to do with money for me. MJ paying me? Michael Jordan don't owe me a damn thing, man. I told you, if anything, I owe Michael Jordan, right? I owe him for always being there for the people. When I was young growing up, right, Michael Jordan meant a lot to us because he was always there. He showed up, and he always played with heart, with grit. He was a true competitor. He earned the respect of the people. Michael Jordan owes me nothing, nothing. Our childhood, a lot of our childhoods are better because of Michael Jordan and what he did, what we watched him do live, live. I can't stress it enough. That's what Michael Jordan meant to us. Michael Jordan was a cultural icon. He wasn't just a basketball player. He was the most famous person in the world, in the world, guys, by far. Michael Jordan's paying me once again. The LeBron James fan club goes to money. What's up with you guys and money? I don't care about money. I will never be rich. I'll never be well off. I'll never have money like that. I'll live check to check for the rest of my life. And guess what? That is all right. I am okay with that. So if it's okay with me, it shouldn't matter to y'all. Don't worry about my pockets, the videos that I do, how much money I make. Don't worry about this stuff. All you guys should be worried about is the fact that I'm exposing LeBron James with the facts on this channel. Straight facts. That's what you guys should be concerned about. Not MJ paying me. Once again, I've never called him MJ. Michael Jordan don't owe me nothing. Michael Jordan never paid me. It's never been about Michael Jordan. Like, what? You think I'm doing this so that Michael Jordan will somehow one day see my videos and he'll reach out to me and be, hey, man, let me give you a million dollars because you made some videos, uh, you know, standing up for me. What? No. No, no, no. I'm doing what's right. I'm standing up for what's right. And all the real NBA fans, all the real basketball fans are doing the same thing. We're standing up now. 
They should not be lying about the past errors, tearing these guys down. I told you, every player should be able to stand on their own greatness. Michael Jordan stands on his own greatness. He sells merchandise 20, 30 years after he's finished playing because of his greatness. He don't promote himself on social media. None of that stuff. It's about the respect that people have for him, so they'll buy his sneakers still. It's about the respect. It's about the way that Michael Jordan approached the game, the love of the game, the respect he had for the game. So as, as you can see, once again, part nine, no one disputed a single thing in my videos. Nothing disputed. All these people continue to do is cry and moan to me, talk nonsense to me, try to insult me, right? Saying, I don't know what I'm talking about, this and that, Michael Jordan this, Michael Jordan that. No one could bring the facts. And once again, I lay, the, I lay the challenge out for all the LeBron James fan club members. If you felt that I was lying in the video, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever the case may be, make a video, please. Tag me in it. I'm here for the smoke. I'm here for it all. But I don't want to do this comment stuff. I want you guys to make videos. Put yourself on camera. I told you, show me you mean it. And we can do it. Expose me. You can't. So I never lie. I'm all about the facts on this channel, man. So all my people out there, man, thank you once again, guys. Part nine, I know it went a little long, but once again, part nine, nothing disputed in the video, uh, disputed in the, in the comments, just more emotional responses, and I already have enough for another part 10 and a part 11, easily. So once again, we'll keep this going, guys. We have a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed part nine, man, and stay tuned for part 10. Anyone who leaves weird comments, you will be in one of these episodes. LeBron James Fan Club, or LeBron James Fans, say weird things. I'll catch you guys on the next one.